Hello everyone, welcome back to another week. We are picking you up from where we left off essentially. Today's Monday, first day of a new week. And um, we ended last Wednesday's vlog on Sunday with which we had, or rather I had yeah, made an you, error. Yeah, not we. I didn't uh, break it. I tried you to blame you. Accuse me of breaking it. I did. But who broke it? It was, yeah. well, you actually broke it, but I instructed you to break it. Yeah. The Ikea Pax wardrobe. So today we have been to two different Ikeas to try and source this one part. And very fortunately, they give it to us for free. Winning. Yeah, they're very helpful. So they? they were really helpful, yeah. really good customer service. But what we did do, which I didn't vlog in last Wednesday's vlog, is we made up all of the drawers and things we've got them laid on the bed but right now we are going to continue putting together the pax wardrobes and then hopefully this correctly, evening correctly correctly time, yeah hopefully. correctly hopefully this evening simon can give you a tour of his <laughs> wardrobe do you need me to help uh, no, i'm just going to budget a bit ready yeah, is that lined up? Ooh, right? Careful. Yeah. Breaking it. Sense it. I think I've just scratched the wall. No, that's okay. Oh. Oh, I just knocked all them off. Excellent start, Emma. So that is, we're putting the top board in, but we're not putting them in until we've put the other side on. Oh, you use that for each nail? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a fitting. Space. In this the door. Now that is not a bad looking wardrobe, if I do say so myself. It's taken a little while longer than it should do, but as you might be able to see, someone keeps disappearing. So it's largely muggins here doing the work, but it's my wardrobe, so it's looking nice. We'll show you the finished product in a bit. And there we go, all done. Only about four hours later, but not a bad job if I do say so myself. You come back again as we finished. We're six minutes into Love Island and it's Casa Amor tonight and I've just heard a spoiler. Where have you been for the last four hours while I made these? I've been helping. Helping? Go ahead and open one of the doors, give someone a peek, sneak. Just one door. Just one, sneaky peek. Ooh, look at this. This is where my suits are going to go. Very swanky. Yeah, don't know what's going on there yet. Pull out a tray. Pull out a tray. I'd like to just say that Simon did all this himself. I mean, I put it all in on the mean? designer, yeah. not make, physically making yeah, it. Yeah, it didn't make you, one piece of it. You chose what you wanted, what little pieces. Well, I don't remember asking for see through drawers for my pants. You actually did, and that's the sort of thing that you would do. Yeah, I'm going to show them off. Right, I'm done now. I'm going to watch Love Island. I'm going to fill it up tomorrow, so I'll show you what it looks like when it's filled. Night, night. Well, someone has been a busy bee today. That someone would indeed be me. As you can see, I am caped in paint from head to toe, absolutely everywhere. Because I've spent most of the day down in the basement, giving it its first coat of paint, ready for Emma to decide what colour she wants so we can go ahead and then paint the actual colour onto the walls. I've also jumped up into the loft, not literally, use a ladder, but I need to get up there and get all of our stuff that we got stored up there, down, out of the attic, ready because the guys are coming tomorrow, yeah, coming tomorrow morning, to fit a loft ladder and some boarding up there because up until now we've basically used our basement as a dumping ground so anything that's now or was down there now needs to go somewhere else and the only other place we've got now is the attic. So. We need fairly good access to that. We do have a ladder that we used to use, but it's just a faff carrying it up and down the house. So we're getting that done tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed. But the one job that I was meant to do today was get these wardrobes sorted. Emma's gone out to get her hair cut, 
or styled or coloured or something, I don't know, something to do with her hair anyway. And the one thing she told me to do while she was out was to get these wardrobes sorted. <laughs> Look at all the fingerprints already. Because I've got stuff stored in chest of drawers here, in our in our room under the bed, down in the lounge, absolutely everywhere. Because obviously my wardrobes were knocked down a couple of weeks ago. So I need to crack on with that and get that done before she gets back and I get told off. Well, that actually took me a lot, lot longer than I was expecting. So let me give you a whistle stop tour. Because if you might be able to hear in the background, Love Island started and Emma's home. Unbelievable, how long does it take? So, mirrored wardrobe. Dun, 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 dun. Got some camera bits at the top, my big chunky knits, all my jeans, copy that from Emma, colour order. I don't actually have much stuff apart from knits and jumpers, which I seem to have about thousands of. And I might have lost some stuff because I actually seem to have a, a spare shelf. But I've got to show you one thing, I've got to show you these. Have a look at these. They came in this bag. Awesome! They were quite expensive, but how cool are they? Very, very cool. I'm too afraid to wear them at the minute because the house is in such a state. I don't want to get them too dirty or dusty or nick them on something. So I'm looking forward to wearing them. And then in the other side, we have my coats. And behind there is all my suits and bits, all my formal wear. And we come down to the most important bit. The hat drawer finishes every outfit and then my pants and my socks. So although it's taken me all afternoon and pretty much all evening to get it all done, I'm really chuffed with it and it looks really good, in my opinion anyway. So looking forward to getting a DIY over and done with so I can actually wear some of this stuff. Well hello there. We haven't actually, ooh that was lower than I expected, haven't actually vlogged over the last couple of days because We've been down in the basement, so I believe the last thing you would have seen from us was Simon giving you his grand, bless him, wardrobe tour. But yeah, since then we've basically been busy down in the basement. We had a bit of an epic fail that was partly my fault. Simon asked me what colour I wanted to do the basement in, um, and I felt really rushed, so I made a rushed decision. We painted the entire basement, bar one, like, feature wall, if you will, and then I didn't like the colour. <laughs> so I went and spent like a further two hours at the Valspar counter going, hmm, hmm, and then getting more swatches, swatching them, and then we finally decided on another colour. And we've been painting that, which brings us up to today. Of course, there will be a separate video for the basement, so we're kind of not showing too much in these weekly vlogs, because you'll get to see the whole transformation in one video. So yeah, today is Friday and we have been doing little bits and bobs around the house but we've decided we're gonna kind of have like a bit of a an early date night. I say early because we must be home for Love Island at 9 p.m. That is non-negotiable. Um, so I am just gonna go have a shower and tidy myself up, get dressed, and then I'll show you guys, we're just going out to get some food, nothing fancy, then I will show you guys what I'm wearing. Got my best bud with me. Oh my goodness, it feels so good to actually get dressed like into normal clothes. Now I'm in my new little uh, selfie mirror, I suppose we could call it over here. Um, this we put up last night, it was very kindly gifted by Maid. So I've had a little shower, got myself all ready, got my boots down there as you can see in my bag on here. Um, I actually wore this outfit last week but with like a cream t-shirt on underneath but today, do you know what, I just felt like today is a black t-shirt day. Sometimes we just have black t-shirt days. Um, but I need to adorn myself with some of my jewellery so... I'm going to head over and get my jewellery and start to layer myself up. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, so last year Miss Oma named me an ambassador, which I was beyond thrilled about because I've never been an ambassador of anything ever. <laughs> besides maybe ambassador of chihuahuas um and again once more this year they've named me an ambassador again so i am both thrilled and honored because it's a brand that i've been most importantly spending my own money with and shopping with and wearing for the last 
four, like maybe even going on five years now. It's been a long time. And admittedly, I have rather an extensive collection of which you guys have just seen. This is literally just one tray's worth of my Misoma jewelry. It's crazy. Um, but they have a new collection out, which this beautiful piece here is one of the new pieces. It's called the Twisted Collection. So the idea behind the Twisted Collection and this piece here I think is one of their main pieces. I guess you could say it's like their hero piece. And I'm going to try it on for you guys in a minute. In fact, I think I'm probably going to wear this one tonight actually because it's really cool and I haven't had chance to wear it yet. But as you can see, it's got these twisted chain links. And this is basically to celebrate the weird and wonderful ways that we're all unique and I suppose a little bit different. We're all, we all have our own little twist to our personality and that's kind of like the theory or the sort of creative behind this new collection which I like I think it's really cool um, but another thing which makes these really really stand out is that the chains used in all of these collections so we've got this bigger chunky one here this slightly smaller one here they were all designed in-house at Misoma which makes them completely unique to any other jewelry brand right I had to go get a tripod because I realized that whilst I layer up my jewels I really need to be hands-free, so it wasn't ideal having to hold the camera. Right, let's get stuck in, shall we? Okay, so when Miss Omachi sent me the lookbook for this collection, they had two of the necklaces layered together. The really chunky one that I was just showing you guys, and this one, which is a little bit more modest. Um, and there was a model in the lookbook wearing them both together. I'm sure you'll probably see it on the Miss Oma site, and it looked... <clears throat> so good so i'm basically gonna steal that idea and i'm gonna lay them up together so this one is the slightly more modest not as chunky this one's also really good for layering with like some of my other misoma pieces like all the little kind of pendanty type ones like these so all the little crosses from the lucy williams collection any of the other pendanty type ones as well even the one that i've got engraved with the little leo symbol on there but Tonight, I'm going chunky all the way. So I'm now gonna add on this bad boy. Now I remember, where is the closure? There it is. That's another thing that I really like about the Misoma chains is that the closure, so this is the closure, and as you can see, it's really concealed. So it might sometimes be a little bit difficult to find where the closure is, but if it spins round, you can't notice it like what you can with a lobster claw. So that is ideal if, like me, you're always moving about and your necklaces are spinning around. So there we go, I've got the two chains layered together, chunky and non-chunky. And then I'm going to add a bracelet on as well. So this bracelet is the matching bracelet to this top chain. So I'm going to pop that one. Let's roll the old sleeves up, shall we? I might have to go and get some hair elastics to kind of pin my sleeves in place. It's a bit chilly outside, so I probably won't keep them rolled up. Um, so I'm gonna pop this one on, and I think I might even, yes, I'm going to, I'm gonna layer, where is it, this one. This is the Curb Chain from the Lucy Williams Collection bracelet. I love the necklace of that one as well. Again, really good for layering. And I'm gonna layer that one with it. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the layering on the bracelets, just gonna do that. Now, earrings wise, you can see this is what I've got in at the moment. So I've got, um, just in this side, I have my lightning bolt stud, which I never ever remove because if I did, that hole would close over. And then I have some little rope hoops and these ones are bubbles, I believe. The front ones with the bubbles are also, again, a Lucy Williams collection. Now, I'm going to keep in the rope ones because I feel like they're twisted and it kind of matches these. So I'm going to take out the little bubbled huggies and I'm going to swap those for these, which I love. These are a slightly chunkier hoop. Um, but again, they're like a twisted rope, so they go perfectly. Look at that, they go perfectly with this collection. Right, so there we have it. I have adorned myself in my bling, although I have just noticed that I didn't do a very good job in the shower <laughs> because I've still got paint on me. Oh, I'm gonna be picking paint off my skin for months. So I've got my bag, I'm gonna pop my boots on in a mojo and then we're gonna head off for our 
early little date night before Love Island and then tomorrow back in them overalls. Morning everyone! It is now Sunday. We have skipped a few days down the week because we've been busy working on the basement and yeah I forgot my vlog camera and we have indeed come out today which is a bold move because it's like a massive storm but we've decided to come to Columbia Road Flower Market um, this is somewhere that we come quite a lot in summer and it's a nice summer activity when it's warm and there's a really cool atmosphere but it is literally like the biggest storm ever and yeah, this was a, a wise idea. Right, here we are. We're supposed to be the people are out and about because it's so windy. It is way quiet. Normally, you literally cannot. There is a sea of people here normally, especially in summer. This is mental. Oh, hello. Where is them big snake plants gone? Oh, in this one. Back in our phase. So we need... Um, plants that are good in like low to no light for the basement so these here snake plants are also called mother-in-law's tongues we've got them quite a few of them around the house they're really good for low light <laughs> Simon's leaving me here in this little corner so he can go back <laughs> and get more I've got this I've got some more on the floor so I'm having to shelter while he goes to get more I've almost lost my hat <gasps> That was a bold move, wasn't it? Breezy. <laughs> Always lost my hat, but we're fully stuck with plants. Is it a bit of colour down there? A bit of colour. But I think are we, we're going to Ikea. Yeah, good pots. Now we're going to Ikea. But if you want plants, and I know I used to have that plant highlight. Sorry, I got itchy eyes. I used to have that plant highlight on my Emma Hill account and lots of you have been complaining that I removed it. <laughs> so once the house is finished, I'm going to make a new highlight and I'm going to put it on the home account. Um, but just as an FYI, most of our home plants that you see around the house, house plants, home plants, whatever, do come from Columbia Road and a bit of Ikea as well. Right, we are back home now, although quite windswept as you can see. We did stop off for a little bite to eat on the way home as well so that we could just crack on once we get back. Um, so we're in the spare room at the moment. We've got a few bits and bobs to do. So I need to coke around the skirting boards. That's my job with my special little tool. Um, we've got a rug from Ikea. So we're gonna put that down in a mojo. We're leaving the coving until tomorrow because we want our trades guy that we've had in the house doing the basement to just give us a few pointers and make sure we're doing it right. And then I've got some artwork or some prints to put up on the wall, but I've got a little trick to show you guys to avoid them going all crinkly in the frames. Right, I'm first of all gonna start on the prints. So there's a little issue which I've been finding with a lot of my prints that I've got around the house. And that is, I think, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on this one because I have glued this one down. But for anyone that has prints around the house, you might have seen that your print, if you don't uh, like spray it onto some kind of backing board, it might start to go all wavy and like a little bit creased inside your frame. And it won't happen immediately, it'll normally happen over time. So what I have done is I've got some of this foam backing board. It's a few mils thick. I buy this from Hobbycraft. I think you get, it's either three or four. I think it's four for a tenner. So it's like £2.50 each board. And this is the size that it comes in, which is, I believe, A1. So I have got these 50 by 70 frames and then these prints inside from Decenio. And basically, once you pop in this board, because it's a few mils thicker than what the frames are designed for, once you've popped it in, I have actually got this board. So I've basically spray mounted the print onto this board and then popped on the backing board on the back. The issue is that you then cannot get these to sit inside the groove because it's too big. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys a little hack for if you wanna do this and stop getting crinkly prints, Here's one, Blue Peter style, that I made earlier. So you need to get this little tool, which is a glazer's pointer tool. 
like so. I bought this one off Amazon and there's some glazer points and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Right, so it's helpful to have your frame and your print on a flat surface and the first thing I'm going to do is remove these little things because they are completely redundant. As you can see, they don't fit in the grooves. The grooves are way below here because the backboard has been thickened. Now I'm not <laughs> going to do this in any specific technical way. I'm literally just going to pull them off. So be careful if you're doing this at home because the metal can be quite sharp when you pull them off like so. <coughs> yep, that's exactly what I did the last time. Right, now that all of those little fixtures have been removed, I'm going to add in some new ones to keep this backboard in place and to keep the print pushed up against the glass so it's not actually glass on these particular frames from decenio it's like plastic so this is the tool that you need to use it's like a little pushing tool and then these are the tiny little glazers points i don't know if you can see that but they're really really tiny now what you want to do is get your glazers point and you want to lay it down flat with the two prongs sticking up and with the spike sticking or aiming towards your frame. Then with your pointers tool, you literally just line up this little grooved section with those two little sticky up prongs and you just push. Just be careful not to put any pressure downwards if you have a glass front on your frame. If you've got plastic, it doesn't really matter. And then you essentially just push. I always give mine just a little bit of a wiggle side to side so that you're kind of pushing it in to your frame. Ta-da! And then you just repeat that all throughout the frame, as many as you like. I would normally do about maybe five or six on the long edges and then three or four on the smaller edges, but it will depend on the size of your frame and that secures it in place. Well, we have had a relatively busy afternoon. We've done a few more bits in the basement, so that's coming along nicely now. I reckon we should be able to show you guys that maybe two, three weeks-ish, because we need to get some flooring stuff sorted out. Um, here in the guest room, frames are up, as you saw me doing earlier. Also, oh, I've done the caulking around the skirting boards. Tomorrow, we're going to have a crack at doing the coving, because as you can see, we don't have the coving up yet. Um, and the blinds are arriving for our bedroom tomorrow. So obviously, in next week's vlog, we're just going to pick up from where we left off. And yeah onwards with the renovation so thank you very much for tuning in for another week of all of this mess and fun and diy and all the good stuff and i will catch you guys next week Bye.